What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got another beautiful build for you. Today we're building an all AM5 budget PC. What can we do for the best bang for buck? This system is going to be right around the $1,200 price point here on our website. We have a few different variations. I'm going to be going to some creators like the new Officer Master Cadet 2.0, which is going to be very comparable to this build today. We also have our new signature series system that's going to be featuring the AM5, which is very comparable to this today. But this is absolutely killer. If you're talking about content creation, budget, even getting into 1440p because a 4060 is actually a really good card, which we're using today, you can do a lot with the system. We're starting off with the 7600X, which is a fantastic little budget entry CPU when it comes into the AM5. We're putting all in the B650M Pro board coming in from MSI. We have 32 gigs of 6000 CL30, so we have that really tight timing RAM that goes really good with the CPUs on AM5. We've got a one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe drive coming over from Kingston. We've got the RTX 4060 coming in from Asus and the beautiful Asus Dual RTX 4060, eight gig. And we're putting it all in the beautiful Montec Air 100, which is an MATX mid-tower case with four RGB fans. Looks absolutely stunning. And we're cooling it today. Not only just we're going with any kind of cooler, we're going with a Thermorite Assassin Evo, which is an easily cool the CPU and also give you plans if you want to do any kind of upgrades down the line, like a 7700 X or add anything else to it. It can cool it pretty efficiently. And then we're also powering it with a beautiful 650 watt MSI gold ATX power supply, which is plenty of power for today's system. It's an absolutely killer system. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure that like button helps us with the algorithm over here. And remember, if you want to catch us live on a raw like it is right now, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv. We stream around 10 a.m. Eastern. We hope to see you soon. I mean, look at that. that. There it is. Mini, mighty, beautiful, all the goodies you want to see in a nice little budget PC. Let's get over. I'm going to get mic'd up and I'll get right to it. Yeah, it's a great, this is actually a really good build. I mean, you can do like 5M. You can even do Tarkov. You can do Warzone. You can do a lot on this PC and have longevity, but also a, play, uh, a platform that allows you to upgrade down the line as well, which is really nice. So uh, let's get right into it. Get everything down here off the table over onto the cart that we're not utilizing right away. This is a phenomenal little budget board. The only thing I will say I do not like about this board is that it doesn't have the rear I.O. built in, but for everything else, it's one of the best you can get if you're going MATX. It is probably my opinion the best MATX board outside of like a mortar, but because you have to put the, the rear I.O. in, that's the only downfall of this beautiful little board. But it had, we run 1700 x ray D's, 7950 x ray D's, everything on this, just on this board, and it doesn't even skip a beat. Let's go right off with the CPU. Okay, we have the 7600X. Take a look at the socket here. No bent pins, good to see. Down here we go, CPU looks good. Back to die, everything looks good. All right, here we go. Down the pins, latches down. All right, we're going to NVMe drive next chat. Drive is in. All set there. We're at all in there. Looking good. Next, let's work on our cooler. Again, today we have the Assassin Evo, which is absolutely beautiful little cooler coming from Thermorite. As you guys know, with the whole sanctions against deep cool, we've kind of switched up our coolings. We've gone over to the Thermorite um, for our air coolers and for our liquid coolers. We're doing them primarily uh, leanly. These are standoffs for the cooler, the air cooler. Nice and secure. There we go. 60, 32 gigs of 6,000 CL30. Is there a RAM today? Beautiful Delta RGB. There we go, looking great. Let's talk about the motherboard one more time really quick. Again, the B650M Pro coming in from MSI. The 7600X down the socket. We have a one terabyte Kingston NV2 down here in the primary gen slot one. 32 gigs of 6,000 CL30 RAM, which is blazing fast. And then we got our standoffs in place for the Thermorite Evo uh, Assassin Evo cooler, which is a beautiful, uh, I think it's a six tower air cooler. Five, four. Four heat pipes, four heat pipes, which is plenty for this kind of, for this, um, cool, uh, for this uh, CPU, actually overkill for the CPU. All right, that being said, let's move things aside. We're gonna get the case out today. Let's slide this aside, let's get our case out. It's a beautiful Air 100 from Montec. I believe this case was actually um, stopped production and people actually complained to Montec because they loved it so much for the price that Montec brought it back. Because we were having these for the longest time, about a year ago. We couldn't get our hands on them, and then all of a sudden they came back, and boom. All right, go chat with me the front close up of this little case. MATX Micro Tower, beautiful little case. Like I say, this is really, really good value for what it is. This is the Montec Air, it's a little, uh, let me replace that a little bit. You gotta let the customer be able to peel it, you know what I'm saying? But it's also 
one of these. There we go. This is like the ultimate budget case for the price. I mean, this is like a 60 to 70 dollar case, but it's got rubber grommets and pass-throughs. It's got four, four RGB fans. It's got an onboard RGB controller. It's got a lot of things you want. It also has a lot of cable mess in the back, but we're gonna take care of that here in a few minutes. So, that being said, let's get all the things we need for the case. They put in a little hard drive sliding tray, which is nice to see that. So you can put uh, two drives in here. The top down, get this motherboard going. All right, everything looks good in the back. All right, we're good there. Put our screws down and in. Looking good. Here, a fun close-up now. Got all the screws in. That motherboard's now in secure. I'll grab my light over here so I can see everything a little bit better. All these cables. They give a three-to-one fan connector, which is nice. The fans kind of all go to one connector, so you don't have to really daisy chain the fan. And you don't have to do any daisy chaining on the RGB. It's already done for you. So it's a lot of things that are nice about this case, I can say. Okay. Let's see where our USB 3.0 header is and our Type-C. There's no Type-C on this anyway, so not a big deal about that. Case doesn't have a front Type-C. Not a big deal. Go looking good. Let's get our front panel connections in. Let's we'll start working on some more other connections. We have a USB. We have a, top, we have a USB 2.0 header up top, which is nice to see up there. So instead of the USB 3.0, we have a USB, uh, a USB 2.0 header instead of a USB Type-C. Not a bad thing. A power switch, a hard drive LED, and a power LED. Get these in. The bad thing about this board is it's right below the RGB header we just put in. There we go. Everything's hooked up on the front. Now we gotta look at all these, this jumbled mess they gave us back here. All right, we are all done with our basic cable management in the back here. I'll show you what we got here. You guys saw it was a jumbled mess. We tidied it up. We got some other cables to add in here still, so, but it looks pretty solid so far. And let's get over to getting our power supply in. We go power supply and that'll be our cooler. Your MSI would love for us to have a MSI GPU, but honestly, the best value, best value right now in terms of like 40, 60 in my opinion, is that beautiful Aces Dual that we have today. Build quality of that dual card is just really unmatched right now. So that's why we use that card in almost all of our 4060 builds. It's so good. Our power cables can go in here. Let's get all the cables we do need today. We do need the SATA. SATA does power the onboard RGB controller. So we need an EPS, single CPU. Other SATA in, and CPU in here. 24 pin main. And a PCIe cable. There we go. All the PCIe can go in here. All the other cables can go into the motherboard box. We built, we built Antec cases. We like Antec cases. Uh, they have different... No, they're, they're all spec similar. It's just the... the, the uh, the cooler, the way the build quality feels, those are really the main differences when you're looking at the different cards. Some of them are, do, are factory overclocked, so you get, some of them will have a little higher overclock. A lot of them you can overclock similarly. But from factory, some of them have a little bit higher, of a higher base overclock. But it just comes down to the build quality, and this Asus, uh, the Asus Dual OC is one of the best performing cards for the price of the 4060. That's why we like it. Let's get our power cables in. We're starting off with our 24 pin main motherboard. There we go. All the cables are in. We just gotta plug in our PCIe, or uh, pretty much yeah, our PCIe for a GPU. There we go. Let's tuck everything in here. Get these this power supply in. There we go. All in there. Let's get it screwed in. Well, yeah, we do tons of build 4090s. It's just right now the 4090 is kind of like overshadowed by the performance of the 4080 for the price. Like you're paying twice the cost for maybe 10% better performance. So is that is that is that worth it? No. But the 48 Super is really outshine the 4090 right now. So I see more people going to 48 Super. Unless you have whatever budget and you want the best, then yeah, hit the 4090, you know? But yeah, we've, done, we've got plenty on our YouTube channel. If you get exclamation point YouTube, go check them out. Let's go cooler now. The 4900 XT is really good. I just like, uh, I just really like uh, NVIDIA cards. Streaming and gaming, they just beat uh, AMD. If you're not doing any kind of streaming, then yeah, the uh, AMD cards are great. But if you're doing streaming and you're using encoders, the uh, videos are just su superior. There we go. Get this beautiful uh, cooler out from Thermal, right? All right, we're down and on we go with the cooler. All right, now it's on there. We're gonna get our fan on. All right, there we go. Throw a top down really quick, or uh, sorry. Front facing, you see all the cable management we got to do there. Let's get our CP fan installed here. It's all there. I'll give you a front close up now. You can see what we're working on. All right, there we go, chat. On to the GP, we go. Get this beautiful RTX 4060 out. 
You said that little Aces duel is phenomenal for the price. What we recommend. All right, let's get this GPU in. In we go. We're going with the beautiful little RTX 4060 coming from Asus. Mini, but mighty. There it is, nice to bunk. Let's get some screws we need here. All right, here we go, chat. Let's get ready to light it up. All right, let's go. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.